Assalamu alaikum friend how are you I hope you all are fine so today I will show you uh, another video uh, how to read data from think speak to lab view I have already created video to send data from lab view to think space think speak now the reverse process is to read data from think speaks to lab view so uh, in order to save time I have created this VI file and I just will explain how this is going to be work okay so first let me show you the my thing space platform uh, I have logged in my ID and this is the field value where I send data from my lab view to think speak okay now now I have to read this data from think speak to my lab view okay so for that what I need uh, first uh, you see this is my field number one and this is my channel and what I need for reading and writing is API key okay so you can see my in my previous video in order to send data uh, think speak I have to use I had to use write API key this one and this is key and this is complete API write API from this to this but now I want to read from the think speaks to lab view so uh, what I have to do I have to do uh, I have to use read key API key the complete link read read a channel field this one is okay get colon double slash from this to this and this is two one seven four double six nine is actually my channel number see this one channel ID okay and after channel ID we have some more text JSON API key and this is the key you see same this one key this is read API key so I'm going to use this complete path I just copy it okay and uh, come to my lab view code now just I explain how it's going to work you have to take one open handler okay from get vi and then close handler okay from session you have to create you can uh, see it from network uh, I will show you from connectivity um, where you will find this one data communication Oh, sorry uh, protocol TCP okay you can HTTP now from here you see uh, HTTP client this is open handler this one get this one and then close this one at the end here this one okay close handler so you can get from this vi uh, from there now uh, the input of this one is all the key from here you see this my uh, key api key this one okay this api key and the output of this http we get is the one is header and the second is the body so the header and body i have uh, showed here and make it here as a display okay now what I want to show you first is uh, uh, I am not going to explain this uh, code right now first let's say I run this one and check what is the my uh, lab view showing okay just run it okay okay now I get the data 
okay first just talk about the header and body in header is showing the dis uh, detailed description that what is the time that data was uh, read from 5 5th of July 2023 GMT this one everything is the header okay now in the body you get all the information from your channel let's say channel ID see two one seven four double six nine channel name Asif uh, my name I show you here channel name is my this is my Asif channel name okay this is channel name showing here sorry here then description IOT latitude this one is not showing the field one field one is this your the field one if I take another field let's say this one uh, uh, it will add a one field here then it will be field two this is field one okay uh, this is field one lab view to think speaks the name of file created at this date and time updated and this and this the entry ID this the entry ID for four means is telling that uh, I have only four data set okay now I start from here feed the feed created this one this one this is time 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 nine nine entry ID one the first value is 9.94 9.94 I show you here this is CC this is 9.94 and sorry the second is uh, the second then the created this one time entry ID 2 from field 1 is 10.80 10.8 okay now now the third is uh, the entry ID 3 is from field 1 3.1 see 3.1 and then this is 1.63 the last one the last one is a 1.63 okay now so normally uh, when you just take this is from here to here data okay this data from body you are getting but nothing is that when you get the data from thing speaks to live view you don't want your data to in this format like a string you ha we only need the integer values like 9.94 10.8 3.1 and 1.63 so we have to extract this integer value from this string and shown the graph or any array form like this so how I did this one now this is the main point in a code which we have to understand so I just created one while loop inside the while loop okay now this I created entry ID and uh, this is actually your uh, what is this this is the, the format into string factor entry ID start from one constant why see here uh, from the feed after when this is the entry ID one from start here and now this is your mesh pattern the data from here it will take the mesh pattern and it give you the difference see I take the this description it give the output before subtracting mass uh, substring and after substring so after after substring I take this to another match factor match pattern and subtract it from the field one the inverted comma colon then inverted comma I subtract this one you see from here from here I start from ID one subtract this one I match pattern this one then after this value is my actually the data which I want to read uh, from my graph or for array so uh, after this one uh, I again one match pattern used and I also use the second bracket this one okay from this to this from this to this I create one logic I use this one match pattern with this one then match pattern this one and in between before the uh, last match pattern I use this I extract this 9.94 the system will give you 
now after that what I did that if I use the empty sync if uh, if your data is finished let's say a system start from here to here if data is finished then what it will go um, it will go to uh, true condition okay if it is true means uh, sync part is empty and it write the last data you it will write at the zero and if it is false means that there is data it keep reading so what it will do it will uh, as it is extracted as a string it will con convert uh, a string into number and build an array and this output of this goes to the array display as a uh, indicator array okay and this is the one data which I read okay but I have four five six uh, here I have four but it could be multiple of times so what I did here uh, I use as a shift register the data which is start reading from the uh, entry id 1 it will keep incremental by 1 in each iteration and then it will the second iteration it will it will be data 2 then it will read the data 2 then 3 and then 4 then 5 the and so on if it is empty means if if the system has it all the text all the string then system will stop the this uh, while loop and you will data your data will be showed the here so you see uh, when I run it it's showing your data see from here 9.94 first then the second entry ID is 10.80 here and the third is 3.10 and the fourth is 1.63 and the last one is zero why because I here made a condition that if uh, your is empty string is empty it just shows that uh, all the data has been read that's why your last value is zero okay uh, uh, you, you, th you would be thinking that if my data has actually value zero and then so if your data has in between zero so after that it will show and then again it will read because it will keep running keep running until the all the string is uh, is read uh, this condition okay empty string path if the path is and then it will stop in between it can be zero or any positive value or any negative value so I also displayed this data into graph the simple just you have to take the graph uh, from the front panel just take one this graph graph chart okay and insert it here and connect in the parallel with the, this uh, array indicator and it will show you with the all the data as you want so uh, I think the main critical part of this uh, video is to understand this logic if you understand this logic then the remaining uh, part is not difficult you have to just copy and paste your um, uh, all the uh, path of your channel it has all the information your channel ID and API key okay one more thing is that if you want if you have multiple field so you can split this and make it a format into string and your channel ID you can made as a control as a control and then you put the channel ID let's say this right this time this one another time this one if you change the channel ID accordingly and accordingly you will get the data on the your uh, indicator so uh, I hope uh, you would like this video I have I will put the description and link of the previous video uh, which is uh, which is to send the data from lab view to think space you can see also this one and the reverse is this one from think speaks to lab view now this is a complete uh, think speaks topic is finished I hope you would like this video if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and share and if you have any comments any question you can give in the comments inshallah I will reply you uh, as soon as possible thank you for watching Allah Hafiz